The campaign dashboard will show you a snapshot of your metrics, any out of budget notifications and your performance over time. On the campaign management page, the graph shows your sales performance over time. You can add metrics by selecting them at the top. It will show two metrics at one time. You can add a metric to display by clicking the add metric button. You can display up to four metrics at any one time on the top here. There are seven types of report available for sponsored product campaigns. Search term reports, targeting, advertised products, campaign, placement, purchased products, and performance over time. I'll now quickly go through each one of these in turn. Reports can be accessed from the main advertising menu under reports. Click to create a report. Here you can select the campaign type, the report type, the time unit, and the reporting period. When you're ready, you can run the report. You can also set a report to be scheduled and send to an email at a frequent basis. So if you select, select future, you can choose the day when it is sent. If you select recurring, you can change the frequency and then click schedule report. The search term report shows the actual search terms customer use to find or buy your products. It's organized by ad group name and campaign. You can also see how the targeting and the match type used affect performance. So if we look at this keyword here, which is the search term Burt's Bees Lip Balms, we can see that that had 253 impressions and four clicks, which meant the click-through rate was 1.58%. The average cost per click was 26 pence. Spend was one pound and five pence, but unfortunately it didn't actually result in any sales. However, the keyword Neves Beeves Lip Balm had a cost per click of nine pence, and resulted in £4.95 worth of sales, which had an advertising cost of sale of 12.72%. So that is a much more successful keyword. The advertiser can change their setup based on this data. They may wish to increase the cost per click that they're willing to pay on this keyword to increase sales and perhaps exclude non-performing keywords using negative keywords. The Sponsor Products Targeting Report shows how your match types and targeting perform over time. So for example, in this campaign name, Beeswack Lips Balm, and the ad group Lip Balm, the automatic targeting type Close Match had a cost per click of 64 pence, a spend of 144 pounds, but a very high advertising cost of sale of 46%. So the advertiser should look at reducing the bid on that match type or perhaps not advertising using that match type. The advertised product report shows the results for each ASIN which has received at least one impression. So here we have a list of the advertised ASINs and then we have the performance next to them. We have the click-through rate for those products, the cost per click which was paid, and we also have for sold products we have the advertising cost of sale. So you can use this report to see which products are successful in advertising and you should continue to advertise and which products perhaps you should remove from being advertised. The purchase product report shows the details of the product that were advertised and those that were purchased. So it could be that you're advertising a particular product and another product which you haven't been advertising has been purchased. And this is where you can see the list of the purchased ASINs, a list of the actual advertised ASINs against those purchased ASINs and the sales. The campaign report shows the performance at the campaign level. Here we have the campaign name, the campaign status, the daily budget, targeting and bidding types, impressions, clicks, click-through rate, the spend, the average cost per click, the advertising cost of sale, the return on advertising spend, and the seven-day sales. So a snapshot of the performance of your campaigns. The placement report gives the results of your bid modifiers that you've used to change your bids for different placements on the Amazon site. For example, on the product pages or the top of search. Here you can see the campaign name, the bidding strategy, your placement, and the performance both in terms of the impressions, the cost per click, the advertising cost of sale, the returning advertising investment, and the units sold. Performance over time is a simple report which gives the performance in terms of clicks, cost per click, and spend between a start and an end date. Sponsored Brands has a set of separate reports. The reports available for sponsored brands are keyword, keyword placement, campaign, campaign placement, search term, search term impression rank, and category benchmark. Some of these reports are similar to sponsored products but may have some additional fields. The keyword report looks at the performance of the campaign at the keyword level. So here's the campaign name, the keyword and the different match types that that keyword's in and then it gives the impression, the clicks, the click-through rate, the cost per click, the spend, 
If the item is sold, it will give the advertising cost of sale and the return on advertising spend, and then the sales. At the end here, we have a number of sponsor brand specific metrics. The new to brand orders is orders from customers who haven't bought that brand before on Amazon. And there's this percentage of orders which are new to brand. And then you have the new to brand sales and the new to brand units. And the percentage of orders which are new to brand. The keyword placement report is similar to the keyword report, except it also includes information about the placement type. So it has the keywords here, for example, birthday present, in the match types, but also with the placement. So the birthday present keyword is in broad match top of search and also broad match other placements, giving in about how the keyword performs in different placement types. The campaign, campaign placement and search term reports provide similar information to equivalent sponsored product ad reports. The search impression rank report gives search impressions by keyword and by match type. The category benchmark report benchmarks the performance of your sponsored ad campaigns against other competitors in your category. In this example report, you have your brand, the category, and it lists all the categories which you're listing in, the number of impressions that you're receiving, and it will give, give you your comparison against your peers' impressions and the bottom 25% of your peers, the median peer and the top 25% of your peers, your click-through rate, and it will compare you against your peers' click-through rate, your peers advertising cost of sale and your peers return on advertising investment. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.